What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you my current full supplement routine. A couple weeks back, I showed you the morning supplement routine and with every meal, you guys see what I consume. But before we get started, I'm wearing something a little different today and this is the new Wi-Fi shielding winter clothing. I wanted to ask you guys, do you like this color? I think this looks kind of cute, but I was actually gonna do all black. So this fabric is double-sided. Let me know if you guys like the black color better or if you like this metallic gray more. Maybe we'll do both, but I'd rather just stick to one color. So in that morning routine, we had magnesium oil, vitamin B complex, flextrose, and two different types of vitamin C. All of these are for fixing specific deficiencies as well as energy levels. And then we did a little lymphatic system exercise. So definitely check out that video if you wanna know more about these. In my day of eatings, I've spoken about mastic gum and kefir a lot. Mastic gum we did a few months back, video on H. pylori, and then a couple days after that, explaining why this is the best antimicrobial. It's very easy on the stomach, very easy on the liver, will help you digest food. It maintains its integrity throughout the entire digestive tract so it keeps that. And just like everything else, this mastic gum is available on organsupplements.com. I take about a teaspoon with every meal, and if I don't, guys, my sleep is not good. The main factor in how I sleep is whether I take mastic gum or not. Something I haven't showed you guys that's similar to mastic gum in a sense that it's, you know, for someone that's having gut issues is charcoal. And this is just a random activated charcoal I bought. I might get my own brand, but stuff like this, I don't know. What this will do is absorb any toxins or negative things that happen during the digestive process instead of your body having to deal with it. And charcoal is very subjective. So if you try a couple capsules and you feel better, maybe try using it. If you don't feel any better, then don't use it. So. In addition to the water kefir that you guys see me drink every single meal, which is an excellent source of probiotics, B vitamins, most importantly, helps you digest and break down food that you normally might not be able to in a state of dysbiosis. We also have the kefir grains. And, you know, I should really have been doing this the whole time, but now I'm consistently eating a teaspoon of the grains with the water kefir. This is the probiotic culture base. So the strains are a little bit different. There's more variety and overall the digestion is even better. So, you know, I might break out with a couple pimples over the course of a month when I have the grains with the meal, nothing at all. Really does improve the digestion from like 80% to 100%. So that's what I have consistently in every single meal every day. The rest of these supplements are, you know, more variant depending on how I feel. And, you know, I, I usually get a hair mineral analysis or I kind of gauge my reaction to each one. Magnesium, in addition to the magnesium oil, just to make sure I'm getting an adequate amount in my diet. We have, guys, I have videos on everything, but magnesium is something that I've done several videos on. Vitamin K2, MK4. Although we haven't spoken about this a lot recently, I have in the past, and in my opinion, it's the vitamin that people are most efficient in. Usually people take too much of the other fat-soluble vitamins, but in the case of vitamin K2, form MK4, which is produced by a healthy gut, we really don't have enough of this. I take this on an almost daily basis, and it's key for proper skeletal and soft tissue formation. So if you've never taken this in your life and you start taking it, you'll probably notice your face changing over the course of months, even years. And people even report that on different types of forums where they take large amounts of this. And a lot of you guys say, oh, MK7 is, is no. The reason those studies on vitamin K, MK7 showed better results was because it was staying in the bloodstream and not being absorbed. Vitamin K2, MK4 is so bioavailable that it's almost instantly used. And I, this is something I will take in the morning on an empty stomach, but I won't use the full dropper, usually maybe like a quarter of it. 
this other stuff here, usually I, I do during the meal because you might get a little bit of a stomach ache if you don't have it with food. So the newest addition is zinc that we have on organ supplements. And back when I was on carnivore, I was not taking zinc. And even for months and months after I stopped carnivore, still no, because my hair mineral analysis was very deficient in copper. So yeah, I've said in the past, you probably shouldn't be supplementing zinc, especially if you're on a carnivore diet. Now, since I've reduced my meat intake, my zinc did hover a little bit low, so I did start taking it again. And this is zinc picolinate, there's glycinate as well, but this is the more expensive, more bioavailable version that I've been taking over the past few months. And I felt a difference taking it, and then after a few weeks of supplementing, I didn't notice the benefits so much anymore. I will take this on a daily basis with every meal. Same with these, these other three that we just focused on. The two that are less consistent, trace minerals, which has molybdenum, manganese, and boron. We spoke about molybdenum and manganese the past two weeks. I'll speak about boron next week. This is something that everyone is also deficient in. The thing is, they might not be in the correct ratio in your hair analysis. So you might have to buy like a single molybdenum supplement temporarily just to fix it. But this is a much safer bet because as I said in those videos, the dosage of capsules for this type of stuff is usually way, way, way too high. And you're taking a thousand percent of the daily value way more than you would get in food. Whereas the amount in one dropper of the trace mineral supplement is what you would get by consuming a high molybdenum, a high manganese, a high boron food over the course of the day. And last but not least, we have selenium. And when I think of selenium, I think it's you know the most important mineral for liver function. It's something I was pretty deficient in on the carnivore diet because there's a lot of antagonistic nutrients that are higher on the carnivore diet that will reduce your selenium intake. And guys, this is another mineral that I covered I think a month or two ago, very in-depth video. So if you guys want to understand why I'm taking each of these minerals in depth, you can just search my channel. This is just to give you guys an overview of what I'm currently taking in the context of my diet, just so I can be completely transparent with you guys when you see what I eat in my day of eating videos, the supplements I'm taking there. And then this is the stuff that, you know, maybe I only take some of this stuff one or two days a week because I forget or I'm just too lazy to do it. But what I need to do consistently right now to kind of fix my health from all the carnivore diet stuff, what I'm still taking to fix that is all of this stuff right here. And it really does work. So if you guys want to support me, you can check out frank defilecom Look at all of my businesses. We have Frankie's Syringe Meat. We have Frankie's Syringe Foods where we have the Flextrose and the Water Kefir, we have organ supplements where you can find everything else. Let me know about the new Wi-Fi shielding clothing, guys. I'm pretty excited. I think it looks kind of cool. But if you can't order from me, if you're not in a country, if you're in the Illuminati and think Frank's an asshole, you can check out my Amazon shop as well. I think I have quite a few of these supplements listed on Amazon as well, although I would have to do like a complete overhaul of that and yeah, I did a video on how Amazon is destroying small business and I don't really like them. So a little bit uh, hypocritical in that sense, but you know, I can't exactly give up on Amazon yet until uh, I got a few billion more dollars. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.